A very big welcome to everybody. I'm going to start off by saying that I am deeply sorry to each and every one of you. I am apologising for my absence in the last couple of weeks. All I can say is that I completely and utterly lost my mojo. I had no desire to scrap and every time I attempted it, it just felt like a chore. Once scrapbooking became a chore, I decided that I was going to take a break and even though I took a break from being creative, I still went into my scrap, bro scrap room every day and I would just do a little bit of organising, a little bit of cleaning. I started organising all my embellishments into some sort of coloured code. It's a big task and I haven't quite finished, but that's okay. I will get it done one day. And then it was just last week, I was in my craft room. I came across this gorgeous photo of my daughter and I. It's nothing special. It's just a moment that was captured by my husband. And this desire to scrapbook overtook me again. And my gosh, I have never been so happy. It was just like inspiration just hit. I had on, on my desk, there was also this gorgeous paper from 49 and Market Street, which was a birthday presents from my mum and I just turned on the camera and without thinking I just started scrapping and it just felt so good to be back at it and all these ideas have now been flowing through me and I can't wait to scrap so I think um, I've had a break but now um, I have like 10 layouts in my head so yes it's going to be good so what um with all my rambling, I do apologise for my rambling, but anyway, I hope you forgive me for that. Uh, what I did was I took my paper, then I had this chipboard butterfly, which has been in my stash for a little while, and I never knew what I was going to do with it. And what I'm doing is I'm just using some embossing ink, and I'm going to be using some of this embossing powder. The embossing powder is from Lindy Stamp Gang and it's called King Myodis Gold. I absolutely love it. I did give the chipboard, I think it was three coats in total to get the desired outcome. I absolutely love my butterfly. It is just perfect for my background paper and I can't believe how easily I got this layout done. The King Myodis Gold Embossing Powder has a bit of an antique feel for it, to it I should say, and it's absolutely perfect for my background paper. I'm just going to match my photo using one of the papers from the Kayser Craft Paper Pad, and I believe the paper pad is called Antiques. Like I said, I absolutely love this background paper, but it was just a little bit too busy for my liking and I wanted my butterfly and my photo to be the star of the show and not the paper. So I originally thought I was going to add some cheesecloth to the background, but that didn't really work. In the end, I landed up just getting my gesso. It's something that I love doing. If the background's too busy, I like to tone it down using my white gesso. And all I do is I just get some gesso onto the paper using this very soft brush that I have and then I blend it into the paper just by using my fingertips. It just gives this really soft, uh, I can't really say, it's almost angelic, ephemeral, cloudy look. I hope that makes sense to you people but it, um, you can still see all the detail in the paper, it just softens everything up. The gesso also helps to protect the paper from any mixed media that I might do next. And I had different options in my head, but in the end, what I landed up doing was I got this Nouveau mousse that I had in my stash from Auntie Vera's Scrap and Craft. If you want to go and check out her shop, I will link it in my description down below. And I'm just going to be doing some stenciling. The stencil is just a Tim Holtz stencil and it just has all these little dots. And I really just like the added texture that the stenciling has given to the paper. And it actually helps to draw your eye to the center of the paper where my precious photo is. This layout is very simple in as I didn't really use a lot of embellishments, but I did make this embellishment my central piece. It's a love heart that I have taken from the photo. I actually zoomed in on, the, on my daughter and my hands, and then I used Photoshop elements to create this sort of love heart shaped photo, which I printed out. And 
it is just documenting really just an everyday moment you know how many times do our kids hurt their hands and you just take it and you look at their leg or whatever they hurt and you go oh it's a boo-boo and I wanted to, um, to document that moment and I mean that's all that's happening in this photo she's showing me her hand she might have cut it on a seashell who knows and it's a, such a sweet tender thing that I wanted to have a a memory of these everyday moments in my scrapbook so that's all what this layout is about and I love that by zooming in on my hand and my daughter's hand it just captures something very tender that happens on a daily basis between a mother and her children okay let's get back to the layout as you saw I've made a mat for my photo of my hand and I use just the paper pad from Antiques Casercraft and now I'm also using the the same range it's the Casercraft Antiques sticker book this time and it had this gorgeous little sticker that says I love you in yellow and I just thought that by adding that yellow because it is in the paper it just breaks everything up and then in the sticker book there was also this other well obviously sticker that I put down in the left hand corner and it says always remember that you are so loved I'm sorry I forgot to turn the camera for this part but all I did was I dyed my cheesecloth using some Kaisercraft yellow mist and then that was too bright so I added some distress oxide spray in the color Victorian velvet and that just toned everything down I love adding cheesecloth to my layouts for some added texture and also sometimes to soften the layout out but in this case I just wanted to add some texture underneath those flowers there now those flowers are from Prima Marketing and I absolutely thought that they went perfectly and I wanted to draw your attention to the photo of, um, of our hands I'm just going to use the cheesecloth also to add a bit more texture and some highlight to the butterfly's wings and I'm just going to use that basically on the inner inner parts of the wings on all four sides Oh gosh time for the title and I had no idea what it was what the title was going to be but in the end I went through my embellishments and I found this one here it's a sticker one of those sticker embellishments and it just says good times and even though it has a birdie on it I'm not going to hold it against it so next thing was I looked at my layout and I really needed to frame it somehow so I got out my Prima metallic wax and the color is vintage gold and I'm just using as you can see my finger just to smudge it all around the edges and I absolutely love the effect this has it just tied it, it helped to tie everything in together especially with that gorgeous gold butterfly I thought I was nearly done with my layout but then I decided that it needed something else so what I did was I got out a paintbrush and I am just dipping my paintbrush into the oh Victorian velvet distress oxide spray and then just rubbing that in with my finger and it just creates this soft oh, soft pinkish tone and it yeah it just helps to draw your eye more to that butterfly and tone everything down and it balances in with the rest of the uh, like the paper's got some pink in it so yep that was the absolute final touch and I gotta say it felt good to be back at my scrapbooking desk and creating so I want to take this opportunity to thank you all for my patience and thank you all for um, sticking by me even though for the last couple of weeks there hasn't been much content from me I really do appreciate your support and yes some still shots for you and Yes, once again, thank you all so much. Until next time, I promise you I've got a lot of uh, crazy layouts going through my head. So I know that I will be busy creating and making up for my, my absence. Anyway, thank you all so much and take care of yourself and take care of your loved ones. Bye, everybody.